Hi everyone, um, my name is Joe Duffy. I own District Irish Dance Academy. We're great friends with Thielen and um, it's great to be doing a, a workout for your guys' um, workout Wednesday program. Um, I'm also the founder of Celtic Core Pilates, so it's a type of uh, workout. We have an online platform that gives um, videos for Irish dancers to strengthen their cores and work on different uh, technique elements using Pilates exercises to help um, with achievements in Irish dance. So um, anyway, we're going to do a workout that is, the theme of it will be how to not cheat your kicks. And a lot of that requires having good core strength, being able to use your strong core and hold your upper body um, strong while you're dancing so that you don't slouch and you don't cheat your kicks. Um, and of course, with any workout, you want to make sure that you are doing these exercises um, through guidance with your dance teacher. So your, whatever your TCRG is saying, the types of um, exercises you should, should be doing, these are some good ways to complement that that you get in your regular classes. So the first exercise we're going to do I'm just going to step back a little bit so you can see my entire body. It's something called an inchworm. We're going to start to warm up our back. We'll walk it out into a high plank. We're going to hold the plank for a second and then we'll walk it back. So you're going to reach your arms up to the ceiling. Nice stretch. You're going to dive forward over your legs. Place your hands down and we're going to walk out with control. Right hand, left hand, and right hand into a high plank position. Press into the ground, pull your abs in and then you're going to begin to pike your hips, lift your hips up and back, stretch it out for a second, and then walk your hands back in. We're going to start with the right hand, left hand, right hand, and roll all the way up. Okay, so we'll do that a few more times. I'm just going to step a little closer to the camera. You're going to reach your arms, dive over your legs. This time we're going to leave with the left hand. You're going to walk down left, right, left, come into a high plank, pull your abs in, Create lots of length from the top of your head up through your heels, and then pike your hips, nice stretch through the back of your legs, walk it back left, right, left, and roll it all the way up. We're gonna move through that a little bit quicker. It's a little faster, we're gonna walk it out, right hand, walk it back, and we're gonna walk it out meeting with the left hand, okay? So let's reach, nice stretch, dive, walk it out. High plank position, pull your abs in tight, hold there for a second, Pike your hips, walk your hands back in with control, roll it up. Last time we're going to do the left arm. Walk it down, left hand. Go into that high plank. Hands right underneath your shoulders. Pike your hips, nice stretch. And walk it back in. Good. From here, let's shake everything out. We're going to do some work stepping into lunges. We're going to do some kicks. So lunges are a great way to work our quads, our glutes and our legs. So you're going to lift your right leg up with control, just like you're about to do a hop or something. In Irish dance, you're going to keep that knee in line with your hip. Step forward, let's take your hands into our hips. Step down gracefully, let that left knee bend, sink down into this lunge. You're going to lift up, let's bring that right foot back up, and then place it down with control. Let's keep our hands on our hips so you can note if you're shifting too much side to side. We want to try to maintain good hip Control. So left knee is going to lift, added bonus if you think about squeezing your toes there, step it forward, right knee goes down, lift it back up with control, and then step that foot down. We're going to do a few more of these, I'm just going to face you guys. Now, I'm actually going to put down the camera just a little bit, so you can see my entire body as we move through this. Good, so left, actually we're going to go back to the right, so right knee lift. Step forward into that lunge, lift it up, place the foot down. So gracefully bringing your foot up, you're gonna step it down with control, lift, and lower. Let's do another, let's do a couple more of these. But each time you step forward, I want you to sweep your arms up high. So you're gonna go forward, sweep your arms up, lift, arms go down, lower, left knee lift. You're gonna step, sweep your arms up by your shoulders, lower down. Go to last time, right, arms reach up, and lower last time, left. Step it forward, sweep your arms, 
come down, lower everything, good. We're gonna bring our heels together, toes apart. In turn out, I want you to think about pulling your abs in, lift the chest, shoulders back, good Irish dance posture and position here. Squeeze your legs together, you're gonna lift up onto your tippy toes. Let's bring hands on hips, slowly bend your knees, keep your heels attached, sink yourself down, so from the side, it looks like this chest is up, arms are gonna come forward. We're gonna do some work for our abdominals in this position. So you're just gonna twist a little bit to the right side, back through center. Twist a little bit to the left, back through center. So we're gonna try to stay low in our hips, heels stay up, knees are tracking right over the center part of your foot. You're rotating your upper body only. So no movement in your legs. Okay, twisting to the right and center, hands again, line the shoulders, twisting to the left and center. So believe it or not, this is core work. We're using those abdominals to twist right and twist left. You can keep going a few more. Let's keep working with these. Try to get a little bit lower, keep those heels high. You're gonna start to feel this in your quads. Right, center, left, center. I want you to sink down a little bit lower. Shoulders back, chin up, chest is nice and broad. Reach your arms out wide to a T, lengthening through your fingertips. Sink down a little bit more, and then stand all the way up. Lower your heels down, shake it out. Okay, we got one more little sequence of work for our legs um, from here. So you're gonna take your feet out about shoulder distance apart, maybe a little bit wider. Hands are gonna come to your chest. We're gonna sink down into a wide, second position or sumo squat. Sink your hips down, squeeze your glutes to come back up to standing. So this is what it looks like from the side. Sink yourself down, hips back, chest is staying up, so we're gonna lean all the way like this, and then stand it up, okay? So just down, and then lift it up. Good, lower down, lift it up. Let's add a little pulse at the bottom. So you're gonna go down, you're gonna pulse, and then stand up. If you want to straighten your arms at the top, feel free to do that. So sink down, pulse, and then stand up. Push your arms back. Think about opening your chest as you lower, as you come up out of that little position. Push the arms back. Keep moving through a few more of these. So we go down, pulse, and up. We go down, pulse, and up. Good. Two more times. Down, pulse, and up. Last time, we're gonna to start to add in a side kick. So you're gonna sink yourself down. As you stand up, I'm going to kick your right leg out to the side, lower down, kick your left leg out to the side. Okay, so what we're trying to do is not kick forward. We wanna kick right out to the side. You're strengthening the side of your leg, okay? So keep switching sides. Lower, sink, straighten that leg, push, out through the side. And in this position too, you don't have to turn on it. Don't let you actually even turn on your leg. I want you to just push that leg straight out to the side. In Irish dance, we don't get a lot of side motion, right? So this is a great way to strengthen the side part of our glutes, our side leg muscles, okay? Let's do four more each side. So sink down, kick that right leg, sink down, kick that left leg, keep going for three, up and kick, down, up and kick, last two. We're gonna finish holding a nice low squat in that second position. So let's sink down nice and low and pulse it, and pulse it, good, good. So I want to lift your chest up, think about firing up your glutes, knees are right over your heels, hands can press towards each other, a little bit more activation for your arms. We're gonna go down for eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, and one. Stand it all the way up, shake it out. Take your feet a little bit wider. Let's move through a nice stretch. You're gonna reach your arms up to the side, twist to one side, reach your fingers over toes, so opposite, left hand over right toes, come up, you're gonna twist to the other side, stretch the fingers, right hand this time over left toes, come back up, keep moving through that. Side to side, put a little bend in your knees if you need to, if you have tight hamstrings like I do. I just put a little tiny bend so I can get a nice stretch. Keep switching side to side. One more time to the right, up, 
and to the left. And then we're just going to reach our arms up nice and high, dive forward over our legs, and then roll yourself all the way up to a standing position. Draw your shoulders down, shake it out. And there we go. A workout to help with your leg strength to avoid cheating your kicks in Irish dancing. Thanks for joining. Be sure to check out the Celtic Core online studio. So we're CelticCore.com. Um, Celtic Core, note there's just one C in it. So C E L T I C O R E.com. And um, again, thank you, Thielen, folks, Maureen, all of you guys for inviting me to do a workout. Um, from your friends at District Irish Dance Academy in Washington, D.C. Okay, guys, thanks so much. Take care.